Hello, this is Kevin Collins with Home Theater Forum. We're here at Digital Projection with Michael, the Director of Marketing, and we're going to talk about some of the new products that they're rolling out here at Cedia, uh, particularly around the LED uh, uh, way of uh, illuminating a picture. I have a DLP projector, and that always requires a bulb. And you know, one of the downsides sometimes of DLP is you don't get the great black levels. What's the advantages of LED over DLP? So the beauty of an LED-driven projector at this point in time is the LEDs are only running at um, the level of what the picture is. So if you have a dark picture, the LEDs are only running at a very, very minimal capacity. So versus a UHP or a lamp-based projector where the lamp's either on or off, um, the LED is modulating itself constantly over the course of what the content is. So the other reason, the other bit, uh, side benefit to that is that's where this remarkable efficiency of luminance comes from. They're not having to work nearly as hard as a lamp that's either on or on to show regardless, thus depreciating the lamp life. Uh, so you get this gorgeous black level from LED projectors simply because it's not pushing light to show black. So it's actually off. Um, is it truly off or is there any uh, percentage even when the LED's off? Any? It's literally off. Like, I mean, you would find, you're not going to find a picture that's truly all black. If you could show a true black, the LEDs would be off. One percent, but it, Typically what happens is you have a dark screen with a really dark scene, like say Batman, um, and it's running at 3%, I mean, extremely low. That's why you get the black levels. So that's, that's really interesting. One of the other things that I have, you know, with my projector or friends with their projectors that's lamb-based is, unless you put that projector in an enclosed area behind some glass, there's always this noise issue and there's always a heat issue. What's, how does LED is there benefits to LED over that? Uh, it's beautiful. So with a lamp-based projector, especially the powerful ones that we tend to make, you have at least you know one to two to sometimes four lamps. These are UHP, really powerful. That's where you're getting all your brightness from. You have to get that heat out of the projector as fast as possible to protect the components within. So you have a lamp producing a lot of heat. The heat has to come out of the projector through the uh, vent through the fans. And sometimes there's three to four fans in those projectors, especially the large ones. LEDs so much less uh, heat produced less need for lamp for uh, for uh, fans excuse me so you can literally have an LED projector mounted directly above your head in a dedicated theater especially if you don't have the grandiose ceilings that you sometimes do with no depreciation of the experience for your uh, for your audience period wow that's a that's a great feature how how's the color better with is there any difference in color with LED versus the traditional LCD and DLP type displays uh, it's remarkable I mean DLP in itself has always been known for color, the technology. We've always been traditionally DLP. But the LED diodes produce a color gamut that is so intensely wide, much wider than the traditional landscape of a lamp, whatever a lamp can produce. Um, and then you have the added benefit of, I mean, it's basically the new products like the Titan LED that we've rolled out here at the show um, produces color space way beyond Rec. 709. So you have, you have a subtlety of color that's really never been seen before. LED um, came on the market. And as we roll up and the LED projectors become more precise, more powerful, you're going to see color that's literally never been experienced before. Wow, that's, 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 that's pretty interesting. I'd love to get my hands to review one. The other question I have is, you know, the reason I like my DLP over other types of projection technologies is the mirrors move so fast. So if there's motion, I don't see any smearing or anything. Is that better or worse with LED? Yeah, I mean, so... LED um, traditionally uses uh, color wheels, and in a situation with an LED, what, you know, UHP projectors use color wheels. With an LED, you don't have the aberrations of a color wheel, so you don't have um, an Achilles heel of DLP, especially the, the lesser products on the DLP line have been rainbow effect. You don't have rainbow effect with LED, period. You don't have the spinning color wheel. So there's all sorts of, there are all sorts of subtle um, benefits to the LED side, the efficiency side, the color gamut and everything. But if you're susceptible to rainbow and it's kept you away from the DLP product line, you've got to look at today's DLP LED projectors. I'm uh, pretty fortunate with the DLP projector I have. My eyes don't see the rainbow. Other ones, you know, I have seen it and that, that is a big concern on DLP. Once you see it, you don't unsee it for some people. Now, can we, this is uh, an LED projector that you guys are coming out with this year, it's single chip. How much does it cost to get in the game for this new kind of technology? So the beauty of LED is almost all of your costs are up front. 
because you have so far less consumables, traditional projector like the one you have at home, you have to be conscious of lamp replacement and things of that nature. Um, with the LEDs, you have no lamps to replace. So the purchase price, this one lists for $12,995. This is the Envision Cine LED 1000. So the stated luminance is 1000, but the perception of that luminance is far beyond 1000 lumens. Still, your investment, though it has a little bit of a premium price, is all up front, consumables almost none, and very little maintenance as well. So yes, it does have a little bit of a premium price to enter that technology, but the benefits are reaped from years to come. I know uh, with my lamp-based projector, you know, I have to, I have to keep track of degradation of light output over time. The LED panels have, you know, what's the degradation over time? You talked about they had a lifespan and the consumables are out less. What's that mean in terms of, you know, life of an LED? So um, our stated luminance spec at this point is beyond 60,000 hours. And the reason why, the way we came up with that is we have literally had prototypes of this product for six years and we have run it consistently in a control room at our facility in Manchester for over three and a half years. So there's a little bit of conjecture as far as specifically how long those diodes last, but you can extrapolate out based on its performance so far, and it's remarkably, I mean, almost no de degradation of the lamps or of the light source whatsoever. You can see that for a typical residential user who doesn't use it 24 seven, like our control applications on the commercial side they sell into, it could take you 15 years to go through the light source of an LED projector. Oh, that's that's very impressive. Always, you know, one of the things I give up on my DLP is, you know, I have to have the color wheel because I'm single chip. So, you know, Mecca is three chip, but that's, you know, costs a little bit more. I, you were telling me that you have a, if you want the, you know, cinema experience, the high end, you have a three chip LED. Uh, I think it's right over there. Can you tell us something about that? Absolutely. So it's the first three chip LED projector on the market, period. Um, and the beauty of that is you get the expectations of a three chip DLP projector, right? Like you said, it's three different, tri three different chips. So you have a three dimensional feel to that image, a more modeled, um, a more modeled color space, all of those things. So you have that precision aspect on top of the low consumables, the LED color gamut, everything like that, and the Titan 1080p LED 3D. So this is literally the precision projector with years and years and years of almost zero maintenance attributed to it for elite home theaters. This is definitely like my favorite um, solution to the elite home theater at this point in time. You've got that luminance, it never runs out. You never have to ping a customer for lamp replacement or degradation of the lamp in that situation. It's gonna produce that just absolutely incomparable color space for literally years and years and years without a, without a worry. Well, I only have uh, two more questions. Um, the first one is, one of the things I like about single chip, you know, for a smaller theater where you don't need to, you know, have to worry about light output so much is there's no registration issues. I mean, if you have a good lens, I mean, it's perfectly. Some other three chip products I've looked at, you know, there's, there's registration issues. I've always heard that, you know, with your projectors that you could, if someone needed to go manually tweak the alignment, you can do that. Is that the same with the uh, LED projector? You can definitely do that, absolutely, without a doubt. I mean, the advanced manipulation from a color, from a lens, from an adjustment standpoint is incomparable. It's all we've been known for. So if you want the premium experience, how much is that gonna cost you? Low cost of $79,995 right now. It's definitely a premium product. But again, it's a brand new product. And as you know, as, as hopefully you've seen with digital projection, we will test a concept, we'll bring the concept to fruition, it will start to take, and we'll find efficiencies throughout to be able to bring it to a larger portion of the market. But right now it is elite, home theater, dedicated, no light in the theater, it's up to 16 feet on the screen, it's, it's gonna blow you away. So this is Kevin Collins with Home Theater Forum at Digital Projection. We have a kind of a, an entry level LED projector for $12.99 and then we go up to what you really want, the Titan, it's a three chip LED.